I'm going to talk about a new project that I'm working on that has to do with this pattern that's on this sculpture here. I really like it, and the circles are really interesting as they flow together. So I wanted to do an abstract piece that just does this. Here's the basic drawing for it. And here I am putting an uh, eighth inch rod in arcs to create the three-dimensional shape. They're being held up by those pieces of wood and then adjusted by the C-clamps. So now that it's adjusted, I'm placing gluing pieces of wood underneath the vertices there, as you can see there, where the lines cross each other, so that when I screw little buttons that are the center of each of these triangles, or uh, circles, um, there's a piece of wood to screw into. And there's a little, there's the flow concave, convex. So now I'm adding little extra pieces along the peak of that shape because it's going to get extra stress and um, in the transition there. So I'm putting on masonite pieces in one direction, I'm trying to make sure that I land one on each of the vertices that happen so that they're again something to screw to. The point of this is that it gives information as to where the circles that land on this, how they how they flow to make a round surface. Now I'm building the convex side and again landing on each of those pieces of wood because that's where the um, vertices are going to happen, the connection points. At this point I'm starting to really dig the beauty of this thing by itself and I'm wondering whether I should make a sculpture that is a finished product that, that has this as part, as it you know, the finished thing. Now I'm putting the um, um, these little pieces to create a level surface to put the metal on. And now I'm starting to create the lines that were on the bottom, on the flat, now transferred up to the top surface. Uh, I start in blue because it is the least easy to see. Now green gives me one more shot to create a little more accurate pattern as it flows over this piece. And it's getting pretty good. I'm starting to see how this how these there it is like the three-dimensional aspect how it would how this these lines will flow with each other these two types of curves so I'm digging it the next will be white the white tape is really obvious as you can see and I'm starting to really refine where the these vertices land on each other um, it, at each point I'll screw in a little stainless steel button um, that will create the center for each circle. And the way they cross each other creates that pattern. Um, now I'm placing the metal that goes down the one ridge and around the outside. All the buttons have been placed. Now I'm putting the top, you know, the top buttons and the, the top edge metal. And 
end. It's just about ready for Cheryl, who's right there, to be working on it. These are the circles that are pre-made, and they'll be placed over the over that surface to create uh, intermingling circles. Thank you. Talk to you later. Bye.